People always talk about how Hollywood is so fake, but when it comes to tanning, fake is the only way to go. And a few stars know this because they've launched their own lines of self-tanners. You've got the Kardashians with Kardashian Glamour Tan and Lindsay Lohan with 7-9. Which one's better? I put them both to the test and here's what we found. One of the biggest problems with self-tanners, the smell. Fortunately, both of these formulas don't smell too bad. Lindsay goes with a nice coconut scent, very tropical. The Kardashians go for a cleaner lemon scent. But between the two, Lindsay and 7-9 smells better. I was actually amazingly surprised how nice this smells. So, well done, Lindsay. Round two, application. Both go on really easily, but they're very different in the way that they look. Lindsay's, as you can see, is brown, which you might think looks like a tan, but can look like something else too if you're not careful. The Kardashians went with a nice clear gel, but between the two, I'm gonna go with Lindsay and 7-9 again, just because it's easier to see where you put it. With the clear gel, I just was like, oh, where to go? I don't know. That's two for two, so Team Lohan, you're in the lead. Round three, color. Which one looks like a real tan? To find out, I had to bring in the big guns. So on this arm, I put a patch of 7-9 by Lindsay, and on this one, I did Kardashian Glamour Tan. Here's the difference. Lindsay is really good for fair-skinned people. It went on very light, looked very natural, and actually got darker after a day. On my right arm, and I'm not gonna lie, first day, I was kind of orange, a little Oompa Loompa. But the next day, it faded to a much more believable tan, and when I asked around Sugar Headquarters, this is the fake tan that got the biggest thumbs up. So, win one for the Kardashians. All right, final round. This is the big stuff, this is for the win. How well does it actually wear? Both of these are gonna go about three to five days of looking good, but the difference is in how they wear. At first, I loved 7-9, it was super pretty, it didn't scream, hey, fake tan, but then it did scream, hey, fake tan. Got a little bit splotchy, a little blotchy. It wasn't bad, but wasn't as amazing as the first day. On the other hand, the Kardashians, too orange at first, but then it faded into a really pretty, believable tan that lasted for a long time, faded smoothly. That is why the Kardashians get this round. So in the end, we've got a tie. But it's not exactly a tie because each one wins in its own right. If you are very, very fair skinned, I would go with 7-9. I think if you reapply it, you might have better luck than I did. If you already have some color to your skin and just want to give your tan a little oomph, then go with the Kardashians. It's a little deeper. They've got you covered. If after all this, you still can't decide, you and I both know you're just going to choose who you like more. So that one's up to you. Until next time, happy fake tanning and stay beautiful.